Joan sat on her couch, surrounded by fond memories of her furry children. It had been almost five months since Bambi had visited her in a dream, a dream that had prepared her heart for Blessing's departure. Joan and Jody had been each other's solace since then, filling the void in their hearts with love and affection. Sweetheart, I only have you now, Joan said quietly to Jody, her devoted and aging furry kid. Let us make the most of our time together. Jody wagged her tail as if she understood everything Joan said. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day. Joan's parents continued staying with her and looked after Jody when she was at work. Joan felt better knowing Jody was never alone at home. Despite knowing that her beloved Jody was getting older, Joan refused to accept the restrictions imposed by time. Joan took Jody to the vet for a health checkup within a month of Blessing's passing. The test findings revealed that Jody had kidney problems as well as arthritis. The vet said that due to Jody's age, such issues were unavoidable. But Joan, deep inside, refused to give in. She looked out therapies and massages for Jody, as well as a customized diet to assist her kidneys. Jody was able to go about her daily activities and meals without difficulty. Time passed and five months had slipped away since Bambi's last visit in Joan's dream. And just as before, Bambi made another appearance. This time, Jody walked out of their bedroom, a joyful stride in her step. Joan watched as Bambi followed closely behind, looking up at her with eyes filled with love. But then, in an unexpected change of events, Bambi faltered and fell directly in front of Joan's feet. Bambi struggled to regain her balance on the floor. Joan's heart raced as she tried to help, but she was shocked awake from her dream just as she was about to grab Bambi. Joan took a long breath, attempting to calm her beating heart. In comparison to Bambi's earlier visit, this dream felt like a nightmare. She contemplated the significance of Bambi's fall and wondered if it was a sign that Jody's time was coming to an end, that she would soon cross the Rainbow Bridge. In the depths of her anguish, Joan couldn't help but question why life seemed to take away her beloved companions, one after another. The pain of losing blessing was still fresh, and now Bambi's haunting dream weighed heavily on Joan's heart. Joan gripped tightly to Jody, seeking solace in their shared moments. Oh, Jody, my sweetheart, why must we endure such heartache? She said softly, you brought so much joy and love into my life, and now I must say goodbye to you too. Then, in the depths of her misery, Joan sensed the presence of a divine being. She felt serenity and love encompass her, reminding her of her earlier communications with all of her furry children. Memories of Buddy Bam Bam's words flooded her thoughts, telling her that everything would be fine on the other side. Clarity filled her mind as she imagined her beloved furry children running and playing blissfully in a world beyond her reach. Joan understood that the beauty of that image filled her heart with incomparable warmth and she realized that this was not a forever goodbye. Joan showered Jody with greater affection as the days went, cherishing every precious time they had left. Jody's movements became slower and her legs frequently gave way beneath her. She'd take a few steps and lose her balance, but Joan and her parents were there to assist her. Jody began to sleep more, her energy dropped, and her appetite diminished. Joan knew the end was coming, but she refused to let grief destroy her. Instead, she held Jody carefully, murmuring words of love and thanks to her every day. She kissed Jody's furry head promising to remember the happiness they shared and everything that Jody had taught her about the eternal power of love. On the fateful night of November 29th, 2020, Jody took her final breath, quietly fading away in Joan's arms. Joan knew that Blessing had come to guide Jody this time. Blessing departed on May 29th, 2020, which is exactly six months ago, and Jody had picked the same day to leave as Blessing. Though the pain of loss lingered, Joan carried on the memories, laughter and unconditional love she had shared with all of her furry children. Joan had Jody cremated and brought her ashes home to be with the rest of her cherished pets. They'd be together forever.
in the spot they'd known as home. Joan's heart warmed with the hope and belief that she would one day be reunited with them all. Although the pain of loss lingered in days past without her furry children at her side, Joan clung to the concept that love never completely fades away. During this time of mourning, Joan called Pauline and had another session of meditation and animal communication, which led her to an unexpected new companion. Joan and Pauline closed their eyes and called on Buddy Bam Bam, Bambi, Blessing and Jody as they sat in their quiet living room surrounded by photographs and keepsakes of her beloved furry children. Joan sought their guidance once more, hoping to connect with them in a realm beyond. Joan felt a soft presence encircle her while she was meditating. She could almost hear their voices and feel their affection embracing her. Her gang of angel dogs told Pauline that they will be joining Joan with two more companions and asked Joan to wait for perfect timing. They will both appear from people Joan knew. They will also arrive at different times. Joan carried a revitalized sense of purpose with her after this heavenly encounter. She had no idea that just 18 days after Jody's passing, her life would take an unexpected turn. Joan's phone rang one sunny afternoon on December 17th and she saw her nephew, Gabriel, his name flash across the screen. Curiosity heightened, she answered the phone. Her nephew's voice was filled with joy as he shared the news. His friend had discovered an abandoned baby turtle in a small tank amidst a pile of trash and was looking for a loving home for the poor baby. Joan's heart skipped a beat. Could this be the link her beloved furry babies had arranged from heaven? It felt like a sign, and Joan made up her mind without hesitation. She eagerly agreed to adopt the turtle, knowing deep down that this was the next step in her path of love and companionship. Joan couldn't help but feel a surge of appreciation as she prepared her home to greet her new companion. She was in awe of how the universe worked in fascinating ways, bringing spirits together even in the most unexpected circumstances. Joan found herself in the warmth of her kitchen on the eve of Christmas, accompanied by her mother as they busily prepared and cooked their family's feast. Meanwhile, her father sat in the living room, anticipating the arrival of the rest of their beloved family members. There was a series of knocks on the door as Joan's house did not have a doorbell. Joan's nephew, Gabriel, was the first to stand outside. He asked, Aunt Joan, where's the doorbell? Don't you have one? Joan chuckled and responded, Oh, I do have doorbells, Gabriel, but as you can see, my doorbells are your furry cousins. She made a teasing actions towards the ceiling and the urns of all her furry kids where the echoes of barks could still be heard. They're up there in heaven just taking a break, so there's no need to worry. Gabriel smiled as he realized Joan's pets had become the household's unofficial doorbells. He felt a twinge of remorse for questioning the lack of a doorbell, but Joan swiftly ignored his concern. They have their own special way of announcing guests, she informed him, her eyes twinkling with affection. Gabriel, on the other hand, had more than simply questions on his mind. He'd been keeping something hidden behind his back, a surprise gift for his aunt. When he saw Joan's eyes light up with inquiry and excitement, he couldn't hold back any longer. Gabriel displayed the small tank he had been hiding with a cheeky grin, holding an abandoned baby turtle within it. Joan's gaze met the turtle's wise and ancient eyes as he gently placed the turtle into its new home. In that amazing moment, she realized that this baby turtle, too, had been directed to her by the combined efforts of Bam Bam, Bambi, Blessing and Jody. Joan's heart was flooded with joy as she welcomed the turtle into her house. She recognized this chance meeting as yet another reminder of the incredible bonds formed by love and the strange workings of the universe. Joan's kitchen was filled with the happy sense of cooking, laughter, and the loving presence of her family as Christmas Eve unfolded. And in the midst of the festivities, knowing that the spirits of Bam Bam, Bambi, Blessing, and Jody were still watching over her, this tiny turtle boy called Tutu found his new home on December 24th, 2020, Christmas Eve. Together, they embarked on a new chapter, creating a lot of hilarious events. 
Joan has never had a turtle before and she has no idea how to care for one. That is where the funny moments occurred, just as her furry children had planned for her. Stay tuned for the next chapter, where the story continues to unfold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next story. Be blessed.